Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentist Channel. So we are continuing our local anesthetic sessions. So this session is about local anesthetic agent components. So what are the components and its function in a local anesthetic agent? So we'll start uh, straight away. So we have the basic local anesthetic agent can be xylocaine or uh, lignocaine. The second one is vasoconstrictor, commonly used one is adrenaline which is in the dilution of 1 is to 80,000 and the third one is reducing agent which is a uh, uh, product used is sodium metabisulfate and preservative is methyl paraben then fungicide is thymol and vehicle can be either distilled water or sodium chloride so the first component is a basic local anesthetic agent uh, the commonly used in dentistry are xylocaine and lignocaine so it is 2 percentage so it is a dilution factor it is nothing but 2 gram in 100 ml so that is a weight by volume measurement so this is the component which uh, produces local anesthesia the next thing is vasoconstrictor so what is the role of vasoconstrictor so from the name we get the idea it is to constrict the vessels so commonly used is adrenaline or epinephrine it is to counteract uh, the vasodilatory action by constricting the blood vessels so what it does is it decreases the blood flow to the injection area and the absorption of the local anesthetic into the cardiovascular system is slowed which results in lower anesthetic level and thereby minimizing the risk of local anesthesia toxicity. So it also increases the duration of anesthesia by allowing the local anesthesia to remain around the nerve for a longer period of time. So on a shot it does three jobs. One is decrease the blood flow decrease the blood flow to the injection area then decrease the toxicity because uh, it slows the uh, absorption into cardiovascular system and also increases the duration so that uh, it stays around the nerve for a longer period of time so what is the role of vasoconstrictor we learned so what is the uh, over dosage uh, result in so if we use more uh, vasoconstrictor more concentration of vasoconstrictor what happens is it will uh, taken up to the bloodstream which causes increase in the systolic and diastolic blood pressure at it increases the cardiac output and stroke volume so these actions lead to an overall decrease in cardiac efficiency so always when we uh, do uh, local anesthesia for a cardiac patient or someone with cardiac disease we should always uh, remove the adrenaline from the local anesthetic agent we give just plain local anesthesia to uh, avoid the side effects of vasoconstrictor with respect to such patients and regarding the dilution factor so this is 1 is to 80,000 that means 1 gram per 80,000 milliliter or we can say 0.8 milligram per ml that is the amount per unit volume okay so that is a dilution factor so that much diluted uh, quantity we are using in LA agent that is a adrenaline or epinephrine so the next component is reducing agent or antioxidants uh, the product is sodium metabisulfate so this vasoconstrictor has one problem uh, because it is very unstable in solution and may oxidize especially on prolonged exposure to sunlight so once it is uh, oxidized the color will become uh, brown and that is an indication that the solution uh, must be discarded so we need to prevent that so in order to prevent that we add sodium metabisulfate as a reducing agent okay so this reducing agent will compete for this available oxygen and the shelf life of the local anesthesia or local anesthetic solution will increase 
so reducing agent uh, are compounds uh, which uh, donates electron because it is very highly reactive uh, compound so which donates electrons and become reduced and oxidizing agents which accept electrons and oxidized so hope you all remember the uh, redox reaction the oxidation and reduction uh, reduction so reduction uh, where it is donating electron oxidation where it is accepting electron so reducing agent we add this to increase the shelf life okay because this will compete for available oxygen oxygen is very bad for this vasoconstrictor next we have preservative preservative uh, is methyl paraben or caprile hydrocuprino toxin so modern la solutions are very stable basically and often have a shelf life of two years or more so their sterility is maintained by the inclusion of small amount of preservatives such as methyl um, hydrocuprinotoxin and also we have another one which is uh, methyl paraben but it has some uh, disadvantages that is it is producing some allergic reaction for few people next we have fungicide fungus in the past uh, the some solutions uh, it tended to become cloudy due to the proliferation of uh, minute uh, fungus. So in order to avoid that, uh, most of the solutions nowadays uh, add a little bit of thymol, which is a fungicide, to prevent the occurrence of this uh, fungal clouding. And vehicle, which is uh, distilled water or sodium chloride. So this anesthetic agent and the additives referred to all the additives are dissolved in distilled water and sodium chloride so this isotonic solution minimizes the discomfort during injection and uh, there will be also presence of sodium hydroxide to adjust the pH and the last component is nitrogen bubbles so there will be nitrogen bubbles within the cartridge uh, it is uh, to put to avoid the entrapment of oxygen so if oxygen is there the problem is with vasoconstrictor so oxygen will destroy the vasoconstrictor that is adrenaline or epinephrine so to avoid that uh, there will be nitrogen uh, bubble presence in the cartridge so these are the components of a local anesthetic agent the basic component is xylocaine or lignocaine true percentage then we have vasoconstrictor that is adrenaline and 1 is to 80,000 that is a dilution it decreases the blood flow to the site decreases the systemic toxicity and increases the duration of action then the reducing agent which is the antioxidant which is compete for the oxygen and get reduced which is sodium metabisulfate then we have preservative methyl paraben and capril hydro cupnotoxin then fungicide is thymol and all this will be added in the vehicle distilled water and sodium chloride and we add sodium hydroxide to adjust ph and nitrogen bubble to prevent the entrapment of oxygen this is a very commonly asked uh, short essay or short note in oral surgery exam so i'll come up with the next part of local anesthesia hope you understood this small concept thank you mm -hmm.